there was a lot more dust in there. <laughs> that was a lot of dust for about six cuts. You guys, the most anticipated tool for a lot of tradespeople out there, or just your everyday DIY, has been the Milwaukee track saw. Everybody has wondered when were they gonna put it out because everybody else has a cordless track saw. Uh, well, it has finally come to market and I have one here and that's what we're gonna talk about. So what I've got here is the packout kit. So you don't have to buy it as a packout kit and we'll get into kind of some of the pricing and the way that you can get this tool, but I wanna be upfront and honest right at the beginning. This kit was sent to me, so I did not buy it, but I also wanna let you know that I have no contractual agreement. I'm not required or asked to say anything about this tool. Milwaukee has a marketing budget and they ship out some samples to people and I was fortunate and lucky enough to get it. All right, so what's in the kit? Well, we've obviously got the track saw. Here it is in all of its glory. And to be honest, it looks like a couple other cordless track saws out on the market. We also have a high output 6.0 M18 battery. You can actually use any M18 battery on this tool, but they do recommend a high output just to get the performance. We've got a rapid charger, a blade, which by the way, this uses a six and a half inch blade. So, and I do believe it's a 20 millimeter arbor. We've got a dust collection bag. And this right here is a, I think it's a swappable splinter guard that we'll get into a little bit later. So that is the pack out kit. Um, this kit right here, right now, $639 over at acmetool.com. I just did a quick internet search. If you do go ahead down in to the description, I will drop some links to Acme. Those are affiliate links that I can get a little bit of kickback if you do purchase, but don't feel obligated at all. So that's the kit. Let's go ahead and get the pack out out of the way. But by the way, guys, I love pack out. Um, I think every tool should come in something like this ever since I've gone to pack out in my my trailer, my trailer has been more organized. All my tools go into a certain spot. So this has been a great system and I'm really happy to have this kit. All right, let's go ahead and get into the specs of this tool uh, so you kind of know what it's capable of doing. Like I said, this an M18 tool uses any M18 battery from the Milwaukee platform, which is one nice thing about Milwaukee tools is they haven't changed their battery. So any tool that you have from the beginning to basically right now, that's M18, it's gonna work, but they do recommend the high output for the performance. It's gonna use a six and a half inch blade, 20 millimeter arbor. Um, this is gonna give it a max cut depth of two and a quarter inches. So that's not too bad. I don't really deal in super thick slabs. I'm not a, you know, I'm not making kitchen tables or nothing like that. So some of the features of the saw, we've got a negative one to 48 degree bevel. Naturally, it's gonna go zero to 45 on your bevel. And if you want it to do the negative one or all the way to 48, there's a button right here that you're gonna push, and then you'll go into negative. Same up at the top, and you can go to 48. So when the button's not pushed, it stops at 45. And then here is the 22 and a half degree. You're gonna click that in, and then it's gonna stop right at 22 and a half degrees. We've got an adjustable depth setting here that is super easy to operate. We've got a very smooth action. So the way that it plunges is super smooth. And as you would expect, if you've used like a Makita or a Festool track saw, they're very similar to the way this operates. The DeWalt is like a total lone wolf, but that's like a whole nother story. One nice feature of this saw is it has a really nice scribe lock. And if you don't know what that is, basically instead of plunging full depth into a piece, like if you're doing a cross cut on a nice piece of material that you don't want to splinter up, you can turn the scribe lock on and it's only going to go down just enough to score. So I guess maybe it's a score lock, I don't know. But it's gonna score the top of that material and get you a nice clean cut. And then you come back and do your full depth. Very handy if you've never used it, uh, I promise you it is handy. So the other thing that this has is variable speed. So it's gonna operate from 5,600 RPM all the way down to 2,500 RPM, and that's in case you're working with different materials and you don't wanna go full speed or some materials you need that high extra speed uh, dial. All right, we also have a splinter guard. That's gonna get pushed down to keep this from your material from splintering. And like I said earlier, it comes with a second splinter guard, which I do believe has a different thickness to it. 
is gonna be for different situations. Honestly, I've never used anything different than what's standard on the saw. So this also has a built-in riving knife. If you don't know what a riving knife is, you can see it right there sticking out, that black finger looking thing. That is gonna keep the material from potentially pinching behind you as you make your cut, which obviously is gonna make this a lot safer and, uh, and honestly keep your saw from binding up in the material as you're going through it. So one nice thing that Milwaukee did was they went with the same track system that Makita and Festool use. So Milwaukee, Makita, Festool, they all will run on the same you know, variation of tracks. And what Milwaukee does is uh, a similar thing that other track saws have is this cam system that you can adjust the track on the rail so that it fits snugly and gives you a nice straight cut. If it's loose, it's gonna, it's gonna walk around on your material, which is something that you obviously don't want. So that's a nice thing um, to make sure that you use when using the track saw. So if you're confused about the cam system, this is the way it works. When you put the saw on a track, there might be a little bit of wiggle. Check this out. So all you have to do is you have a front and back cam that you can kind of snug up and then look. Now this is gonna ride on this rail perfectly straight. And also there is a lock that you can engage. You just push down, turn, and now it's locked onto your track. And that really comes in handy when you're doing a 45 degree bevel cut and the saw is hanging off the side of the track. Like most Milwaukee tools, we also have a built-in uh, Allen wrench. And uh, the other thing about this saw is Milwaukee claims a 90% dust collection. Now I've used this personally. If you guys were to go back in my videos, I went up to Milwaukee to their, N uh, well, it used to be NPS. Now I think they call it something different that I don't remember, where they unveil a lot of their new tools. And I got to get my hands on this saw before it was even out. And it performs great. The dust collection was good, but we'll do a couple demos here in a little bit and you can make that call for yourself. Um, but that is the specifics on the tool. In my opinion, it's what I expected to come from Milwaukee. I expected it to mimic a Festool or Makita in the way that it operates because that's what people like. They didn't like the way the DeWalt plunged. Personally, I don't mind it, it's fine for me. But um, this saw does have a lot of the features that you would have expected and I'm excited to get it out in the field, which is where I will use it, abuse it, and get a better opinion on, you know, do I think that's something that you should go spend your hard-earned money on? That's not what this video is about. It's an informational, educational video on, hey, here it is, it's finally out. Maybe you wanna go buy it, maybe you don't. I'm just giving you the facts. This kit was, like I said, 639. You can get just the saw if you don't need the pack-out box, if you don't need any of the accessories at $399, I do believe. But once again, this date that I've recorded this, the pricing may change. So you always wanna go and I will put the links below and check for current pricing. Now, the other thing Milwaukee sent me was this 55 inch track. Uh, this retails at 129. Unfortunately, as maybe you can see there, I got a little bit of damage in shipping. Thank you to the FedEx guy. I'm sure it wasn't his fault, but um, I might end up cutting this one down to a shorter track and getting a new 55. It will probably work, but I've got a little bit of flex in this track. They also have a 31 inch track and a 106 inch track, which will allow you to cut a four by eight sheet of plywood, OSB, whatever, full length, which is pretty nice. All right, now in my world, guys, I don't have like stock of walnut and oak and all these other hard woods. I've got construction lumber and that's how I'm going to use this saw and that's what we're going to just throw a couple demos here real quick. I've got some three-quarter BCX and I've got some standard um, you know SPF lumber. Let's just go ahead and make a couple rips. You'll get a, you know get to see the dust control. You'll get to hear the power of the motor and just the overall action of the saw. Here we go. All right now we're gonna go ahead and set the depth. We're just gonna go at one inch. I always go a little bit deeper than the material. And let's just make a couple rips here. Here we go, first cut with the Milwaukee track saw that we have been waiting for. Oh. I love a first cut through a track. You can see what it does. It, uh, you gotta cut your track to size. That was powerful and super smooth. I know it was only three quarter, but uh, that was really smooth. Let's go ahead and set this to a bevel. Okay, so I'm gonna lock the, I'm gonna lock the saw to the track, that way it doesn't flop on me. 
Let's go ahead and we'll just do a nice 45. Come on. Okay. Okay, I don't know how good it shows up, but the dust control is pretty decent. Now, there is fine dust particles that I can see coming out, but it's, it's not like puffing everywhere. Um, and that just did a 45, wait, am I crazy? I didn't go deep enough because it's on 45. There we go. Now I just put a standard blade on here. Let's go ahead and uh, rip some two by material. It's a little bit thicker. It's gonna be a little bit more demanding. Although I think this saw is gonna handle it. That is a really nice cut. Brand new blade doesn't hurt. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clamp this down. Yeah, we will. We're not gonna cut the whole thing. Hmm. You know what, boys? I'm not really that concerned here. Let's go back to zero. Change this depth down. So that's me pushing it pretty, pretty decent. I mean, there's no reason to go super fast. Obviously I don't have the 106 inch track to go down this whole length. Uh, let's go ahead and make a cut next to this at 45. Actually, we'll go ahead and put the 22 and a half on. We'll lock it at 22 and a half. I was pushing it pretty hard, no problem making the cut. Nice clean cut. Let's make a cut here using the splinter guard. Now, probably don't need it in this material, but that's how that works. You just are going to engage it down to your surface. And in essence, it's stopping the top of the material from splintering up as you make your cut. And while we're doing this, let's go ahead and pull this bag that is now filling up, just so you can kind of see how much dust that bag was collecting. Safety first, guys. Pretty good amount of dust. And, I don't know, material looks pretty good, but obviously the splinter guard is to protect the other side of the material, because not always are you, you know, wanting this side to be perfect, and you also want the other side to be perfect if you're using expensive material. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. There was a lot more dust in there. That was a lot of dust for about six cuts. You guys, I don't know that I need to do a million different demos. I think that this is gonna be exactly what most people expect out of Milwaukee, but we'll get it onto the site and we'll do a lot more content. So obviously follow along as I do more videos and I'm sure this is gonna make the cut. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I was. If not, that's fine too. I'm just ecstatic that Milwaukee finally came out with their track saw. There's obviously a lot of options on the market and a lot of people have already bought into those systems and they're great. But for the people that have been holding out because they're just diehard red fans, they don't wanna get other battery platforms, I think you're gonna like this. I obviously am gonna take it into the field and do a lot more testing and I will provide more feedback as that comes and maybe we'll bring all the different uh, track saws that I have into a video and do a little bit of comparison. If that's something that you guys are interested in, definitely drop that down below in the comments. And to be honest, if there's other tool videos that you guys want to see, I'm back on this tool video thing and I wanna do more reviews for you guys, give you more content, but I want you guys to be the ones that decide where we go with that. So definitely drop your opinion down below in the comments. I read them. And uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and we'll catch you on the next video.